You're looking at the remnants of another court storming here at Wake Forest as the Demon Deacons take down number two Miami 80 to 65. Rich Waltz along with Eddie Fogler. So number two goes down and Wake Forest played a terrific game from the start to the finish. Well, they did in every aspect. It was a good old fashioned butt kicking, so to speak, and they dominated the play and off offensively, defensively, the rebounding game, the hustle plays. C.J. Harris had the big first half. He was five of five from beyond the arc, and that really got Wake Forest started. Well, they did. Shooting cures a lot of problems. When the ball goes in the basket, it energizes the rest of your game, particularly on the defensive end. And C.J. Harris, the senior from right here in Winston-Salem, was certainly ready to play. And give credit to his teammates as he shows the great crossover there. Some really nice extra passes to C.J. Harris to get him good looks at the basket. Harris the only senior and really enjoying the postgame celebration. The numbers from this one, Wake shot 54%. They had the rebounding advantage. The fast break points were, I think, a surprise. Well, absolutely. Uh, but again, team speed is an underlooked characteristic for basketball teams. Wake's front court outran Miami's front court. Miami's front court was totally out of it today, except for Kaji in the first half. And a big win for Jeff Bezdelic and Wake Forest. We visited with him after the game. Coach, congratulations on the win. Uh, the game plan going in, executed perfectly by your team. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm so proud of my players. You know, we've been playing good basketball. I mean, we are we lost in the last second at Boston College. We lost in the last second against Georgia Tech. So we're really two possessions away from having a four-game winning streak now. I'm really proud of our players. We had a great environment here. Our fans were terrific. Uh, we, we supplied the energy. They gave us energy. It was very energetic, and we did a great job. Uh, Jeff, this is Eddie Fogler. Uh, again, two tough losses, as you indicated. You had a week off. I'd be interested to know your approach, both physically but more mentally with your team. Did you give them a couple of days off? Did you have player meetings? What did you do with the, the week five? Well, we gave them a day off, uh, and then we practiced individually uh, with individual workouts. Then we practiced as a team on Tuesday. Then I gave them another day off on Wednesday. But our approach mentally was this. You know, everybody would think that we're down in the dumps having lost two very close games. But I turned it around and I said, look it, let's have great confidence knowing that we, we can we can we can we can do better. We can have one less turnover, one more converted layup, one better defensive possession. So we know that we should have the confidence to really do well. And so let's don't feel have a pity party, but let's have great confidence in knowing that, hey, we're right there. Let's keep pushing through and, and show what kind of character that we have on this young basketball team. Coach, going into this ball game, one of the matchups you said you liked was Devin Thomas and his athleticism. Even though Miami had three bigs, as it turned out, Thomas played a, a terrific game, and, and Miami's bigs finished the game on the bench. Well, I'll tell you what, we tried to move them, run them, and drive them. That was our game plan. Move them, run them, drive them all 94 feet both ways. Uh, we can, we've got, you know, we just called it young legs. We, we've got the younger legs. Let's go, guys. And, and, and there's no reason why they should ever beat you up and down the court in defensive transition to get down there and help corral Shane Larkin because he's such a great talent. Uh, and, and we just move them, run them, drive them was our theme. Coach, congratulations. Go enjoy the win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wake Forest takes down number two, Miami. And they storm the court for the second time this year in Winston-Salem. If you attended the Miami Wake Forest game on February 23rd and received an ACC Digital Network watch and win card, the winning number is 04264. Check out the ACC.com slash trophy tour for more details about our next stop.